Hi, today we have to build a logical calculator. And what we get is a list of Boolean values and a logical operator. And we have to return the Boolean result based on sequentially applying the operator to the values in the list. So we can get lists up to 50 values and we have to use the following operators and or and XOR. Let's start with the first calculation, true, true and false. That should return false, but how do we do that in Python? Well, we can do the following, print true. And this is very important. The end operator is indicated by an ampersand like this, true. And then ampersand false, ampersand false. And that is the end operator. And that should return false. Okay, let's do that for or and XOR as well. The OR operator is indicated by a pipeline or a pipe, shorthanded. And then we have the XOR operator and that one is indicated by a carrot, like this. Let's run it. Well, let's paste this. And as you can see, false, true and false. The values correspond with each other. But how do we do this with lists up to 50 values? Well, we have to iterate through the list. So what we can do is the following. Let's combine this out. For Boolean in array, print Boolean, true, true, and false. But what we have to do is to start with the first value and then apply the operator sequentially on it to eventually return the result, which would be false in this case. So what we can do is the following. We have to create a new variable. Now let's call it result. And that is the first value in the list. So that would be array square bracket zero. And that would be true in this case. And then we have to iterate through it. So the result is equal to the result. And let's start with the first one. That is the end operator, the ampersand. And then we have to apply the Boolean on it. And let's return the result. But very important, we have to define a condition. If the operator is equal to with double equal sign and only in that case, we have to perform this computation. So let's indent this and let's run it. False. And that is correct. Let's apply the same method for OR and XOR as well. So we can copy this. OR will be indicated by a pipe. Then we have XOR, which is indicated by a carrot. Well, let's run it again. False. Let's try this one. True, true, and false should return false. But it is returning true. Why is that? Oh, I actually see. While iterating, we have to start with the second value indicated by one. And not actually with the very first value. Because we have to compare against the first value, right? Of the list. So we cannot leave that out of the iteration. So let's do it again. And there we have it. So let's grab this and test it out. Test. And there we go. Attempt. Works as designed. Hope this video has been useful. Hope to see you in another video. Ciao.